This video is intended to be a beginner's guide to installing Windows 11. In this demo, I'll cover installing a fresh copy of Windows 11 onto a new disk and also upgrading an existing installation of Windows 10 to Windows 11. There are two methods for installing Windows 11. The first one is called a clean install. This will be onto a brand new hard disk or SSD that has never been used before or onto a disk which has been used before but will be wiped clean before installing Windows 11. This method will install a new fresh copy of Windows 11 and it's a good choice as you get a clean default installation. But there's a bit more work involved as you'll most likely need to install driver software for things like graphics cards and any software applications you want to use as well as customising the OS to your liking. The second method is called an in-place upgrade. This is where you install Windows 11 over the top of an existing installation of Windows 10. When you do an in-place upgrade, all your settings, applications and data are kept intact. Prior to Windows 10 it wasn't generally recommended to do an in-place upgrade because they were not always that reliable and the performance wouldn't be as optimal as a clean install. But since Windows 10 the upgrade process is much more efficient and there's little difference between a clean install or an in-place upgrade. Be aware that there is a minimum hardware requirement for installing Windows 11. You'll need a 1GHz or faster CPU with two or more cores, 4GB of memory, 64GB of storage, a UEFI system firmware that supports secure boot and a TPM version 2 chip. An internet connection is also required to complete the setup process. If you're currently running Windows 10 and have any doubt about whether you meet the minimum hardware requirements for Windows 11, you can download and install the PC Health Check app from Microsoft. Once installed, click on Check Now and it will clearly show any components that don't meet the minimum specification. Ok cool, this PC supports Windows 11 so let's go ahead and see how to install it. First I'll do a clean install. You're going to need the Windows 11 installation files and a USB flash drive which has at least 8GB of capacity. Be sure to back up any data from your flash drive that you want to keep as this process will wipe the USB disk clean. Go into a web browser and search for Windows 11. Click on the link to take you to the download page and there are three options to choose from. The first one is the Windows 11 installation assistance. You would choose this one if you're already on Windows 10 and want to do an in-place upgrade to Windows 11, keeping all of your data and software applications intact. The next option is create Windows 11 installation media and this is the one you should choose if you want to do a clean install. And lastly, you can choose to download a Windows 11 disk image ISO file. This is a disk image that can be used to burn to a DVD or if you want to install Windows 11 onto a virtual machine. I want to do a clean install, so I'll choose the option to create Windows 11 installation media and we'll click on download now to download the tool to my PC. Let's run the tool. Accept the license terms. Confirm the correct language is selected and click next. Choose the USB flash drive option and click next. You should see your flash drive listed under removable drives. Click on your flash drive and click next. The Windows installation files will then be downloaded to your USB flash drive. This will take several minutes to download and create depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once it's completed, click on finish. We now have the installation files and are ready to install Windows 11. You'll need to have the USB flash drive inserted, then restart your PC and boot from the flash drive. You normally need to press a certain key during the boot sequence, for example one of the function keys like F10, or on some systems it may be the delete key or the escape key. If you can't boot from your USB flash drive, you may need to go into the BIOS setup of your PC to enable booting from a USB drive. Once you see a list of options to boot from, choose your USB flash drive. At the Windows Setup screen, choose your language, then click Next. Click Install Now. If you're installing onto a PC which has never had Windows activated before, you'll be prompted to enter a valid product key. If you don't have one yet, you can click on I don't have a product key and click Next. You'll be able to enter a product key later. Additionally, if the PC has never been activated before, you'll be prompted to choose a version of Windows 11 to install. Choose the version you want and then click Next. If your PC was previously activated for Windows 10, then these options won't be displayed. Accept the license terms, then click Next. As we're doing a clean install, we need to choose Customized Install Windows Only. Now we need to choose where to install Windows to. 
If you're using a drive that had previously had Windows installed, you'll see the existing drive and several partitions. Be aware that we're about to wipe the drive clean, so ensure you have backed up any data you require from that drive before continuing. Select each partition in turn, click on Delete and confirm by clicking on OK, and repeat until all of the partitions have been deleted. You should then see your drive with unallocated space. This is also how it will look if you're installing to a new drive which has never been used before. You can then click on next to install Windows 11 using the entire disk and this is the recommended option. If you prefer to divide your drive into smaller partitions, you can click on new and specify the size of the partition that you want to install Windows to. I want to keep it simple and use the entire disk, so I'll go ahead and click on next. Windows 11 will then install to the drive and restart the PC automatically. Windows is now installed and you need to go through the out of box experience setup wizard. Select your country or region then click yes. Choose your keyboard layout and click yes. Add a second keyboard or click on skip to continue on. You can choose a name for your device, I'll enter one here and click next. The PC will then restart and then continue the setup wizard. Alternatively, you can skip the name for now and your device will be given a randomly generated name. Next, choose to set up your device for personal use or work or school. I'll choose personal use and click next. Now you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create one here. I'll sign in with a Microsoft account. I've signed into Windows on a previous PC, so it's offering to restore settings from that PC. I don't want to restore settings, so I'll click on view more options and choose to set up as a new device instead and click next. Click on Create Pin. By the way, while the setup wizard is in progress, Windows may be installing or updating drivers in the background, so you might see your screen go blank briefly or change resolution if any video drivers get installed. Select yes or no to let Microsoft and apps use your location and click Accept. Select yes or no to find my device and click Accept. Choose whether to send optional diagnostic data or just the required diagnostic data to Microsoft and click Accept. Select yes or no to improve inking and typing and click Accept. Select yes or no to get tailored experiences with diagnostic data. Select yes or no to let apps use advertising ID then click on Accept. Optionally, select how you plan to use your device or select skip to continue on. Optionally, scan the QR code from an Android phone to use your Android phone with Windows or click on skip to continue on. If you don't want to back up your files to Microsoft OneDrive cloud storage, click on only save files to this PC. I recommend saving files to OneDrive cloud storage, so I'll click on next. Choose to join PC Game Pass or click on skip for now to continue on. Windows will then check for any available updates and continue to your new Windows desktop. Windows 11 is now installed. You should check if any device drivers require installing. Right click the Windows Start logo and select Device Manager. Any items that are marked with a yellow triangle and an exclamation mark require a device driver installing. You should go to the website of the manufacturer of the device and download the driver software. I don't see any devices with yellow exclamation marks so this PC is now ready to use. But here is an example of a device which would need some driver software installing for it to function correctly. Okay, now all that's left to do is customise the OS to your liking and install any software applications that you want to use. That's it for the clean install, but what if you prefer to upgrade Windows 10 and keep all of your existing data settings and software applications? Let's take a look at how to do an in-place upgrade. Here we're back on a Windows 10 PC. We can see that there are some software applications installed. There's also some data in the documents folder. 
An in-place upgrade will keep your existing settings, data and software applications intact, so you won't need to reinstall any software or restore your data after the install is complete. The easiest way to upgrade to Windows 11 is to use the automatic update. Look in the bottom right corner of the taskbar near the clock and look for an icon like this which should say Windows 11 is ready for your PC. Click on that icon then go ahead and click on download and install. If for some reason you don't see the icon, go to a web browser and search for download Windows 11. Choose the Windows 11 installation assistant and click on download now. Click on the downloaded file to run the installation assistant. Click on Accepts and Install. Windows 11 will then download and install. This will take a little while depending on the speed of your internet connection. You can continue using your PC while the update is installed, but you should save your work frequently. Allow the PC to restart to complete the upgrade. Your PC may restart several times during the upgrade process. The upgrade to Windows 11 is now complete. All of the software applications that were on Windows 10 are still present and if we check the documents folder, you can see my data is still where it was before. And just to confirm the Windows version currently installed, you can go to a run prompts and type in winver and that will display the Windows version installed, which in this example is Windows 11 version 22H2. So that concludes this demo of installing Windows 11. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.